The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Take a look at the German DAX, boys and girls. It's a three drive to a top, one of our favorite patterns. Keep a close eye on that. Take a look at the, uh, the FTSE. Let's get it up and take a look at it. And what do we have here? Three drives to a top. Now, these are hourly charts, so that they gives you a pretty good idea over the last several uh, weeks and stuff. So pay attention to it because uh, these are very important patterns. They fail a lot, but sometimes they uh, work pretty good. So keep a close eye on it. Boys and girls, the menu of today is G-O-L-D. We are at the proverbial window of opportunity as I see it. And it might not be an opportunity. It might be something else. But let's take a quick look at this. Been watching this for a long time. We're now trading below 1270. That's below the 50% uh, retracement. As you see here, the number that we're looking at here is 1260. Right now we're at 1268. We are $8 away. Now the key point here is uh, the full moon on December the 4th was the left shoulder. The head came in at the lunar eclipse on the 12th of August. And now we're in the 20th. And here we are, it's three days out. The number of days on the count between the left shoulder and the right shoulder comes in at 342 days, and that would be yesterday. Now, here we are today, so we could be off a day or two. We might be totally wrong, but what we're going to do is we're going to watch this really closely, folks, because we're down to this area between this 1260 and 1255 that might be the last time this train leaves uh, with a low risk. I don't know. There's a lot of people on the Internet saying that this is a you know major bear market in the gold and they certainly could be right there's no question about that it could be but right now with this pattern we have to pay attention to it and uh we'll watch it i will if you want to have a little fun today poke fun at the old cowboy let me just show you what i did this morning real early uh i was getting ready to oh that's not it hold on uh, th this let's get it up here so we can see it uh where here it is here here's the order that i had ready to go I was I was getting ready to make a video on it, and I said, you know, I said I better wait another day here just to see what happens. And in during that time, gold dropped seven dollars, and so I said, hmm, better cancel this one. So I uh, this went this they went out they went the buy the buy and the cancel went out within thirty seconds of each other. So it I didn't do anything with it. I'm going to be waiting for the twelve uh, sixty level uh, to see uh, to get long the gold. So we'll take a look at it. Fortunately, the shorts that we had on, we covered those, of course, uh, on uh, Friday, uh, a little too early, I guess. Uh, we clever, covered them a little bit higher, but that's okay. That was a good move on the downside. Now we're going to wait and see what happens uh, to the next one. By the way, I want to give the hats off to uh, Terry yesterday telling us about that soybean uh, ETF, S-O-Y-B, uh, uh, you know, that that is really a nice pattern, folks. I believe I saved it. Gosh, I hope I did, because it was certainly a nice pattern. No, you never trust me. I don't know. Is this it? Yep, here it is. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Here it comes. Here's where we are in the uh, this uh, soybean ETF. Uh, I'm looking to buy that around 1567 with a stop at 1542. That's an easy way to get into the farming business. Uh, remember, you're buying that at uh, 15 dollars per share so you got to buy say you buy 500 shares that would be equivalent to owning a, uh, a contract of soybeans is the way i look at it so the risk on that would only be about 300 dollars if you're interested in that but it's an interesting period uh, pattern to look at so we'll watch it okay i want to spend just a tiny bit more time uh, the cable is right down where it should be ruby this is this is what we we've been waiting for cable let's take a look Come on, boys and girls. Where are you, Cable? Here we are. I think we're right down there right now. We're within a heartbeat, I believe. Hold on just a second. This is not unusual. Let's get it up here. 
you'll see that uh, the 29.15, I think we hit 29.40 just a little while ago. So we're really close on that one. And the euro is setting, you know, right at the 78%. The euro's got to get above one, below 111.60, folks, in order for this thing to give up. That That's the way I look at it. So let's uh, let's watch that. Let me d do a quick uh, turn my head around and take a look at the big monitor behind me and see if I can find out. Uh, yeah, the, the pound is trading at... Uh, uh, 2960. The low's been uh, 2945. The euro is setting exactly at the 78% level at 112.15. That was off the last low that we made, so nothing really dramatic is happening there. So we'll keep a uh, keep a close eye on these as we look as we always do. But that's what we're seeing, you know, so far uh, so far this morning. Anyway, it's going to be interesting no matter what happens, but uh, it's going to be uh, the, the dollar is starting to rally. We've that we felt that that had a chance to do that. That's been the, the, the thesis that we've had for some time. We'll bring this up here and take a look at this. You'll see. Uh, take a look at it. Yeah, the low was there at 129.43. I'm looking at around 129.10 possibly, but you can see here on the, the dollar index, we are heading up towards that 98.20 level. That's a really nice ABCD off of that 382. This is what we pointed out last week, folks. Look at that dollar index. 10 days down, and all it can do is make a 382 retracement. Hello? That, that's a sign of really strength, folks. Very, very strong move. So let's pay attention to that one. That, that looks like we're going to get up to that 98.40 uh, level, and that would be a... Um, almost a 78% level on the weekly chart. We'll have to check that, but that's a long way away, so we'll do you know, one thing at a time. So we'll pay uh, close attention to it. If you'll bear with me here one second, I have a instant message from Mr. Monley here. Uh, oh, yep, hold on here. Just want to let him know, and uh, hold on a second. We'll get that done here. Let's uh, hold on. i got to put this stop in. Let, give me one second. Uh, 29. Uh -huh. Shucks, I can't even think of where the numbers are. Wow, this is not bad. Okay, let's move on here. Um, we're getting into the zone, folks, where, uh, you know, we would be uh, looking at a, uh, a potential bottom here in the greens. We're seeing a lot of bottoming action in the, the, the soybeans, uh, the corn, and the wheat. I'm getting ready to put some uh, buy orders in on those. And uh, in fact, I'm buying soybeans today, but uh, that's neither here nor there. I had to, you know, massage it a little bit to make sure I get close enough price so I don't have to risk very much. Anyway, let's uh, let's get on to this uh, these currencies because uh, th this um, this level in the euro is so important. Uh, th 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 by the way, <laughs> time out. <laughs> th this is my opinion, folks. I know, and, and I know the two things that have gotten to me in these last few days. Uh, it has been the uh, the gold market for one, and the second one is the grain markets because I'm basically uh, bullish the grains and not in, okay, and I've been, been bearish the euro for quite some time. But look at the euro where we are now, folks. You see where we're trading? This was the, this was the chart from Friday night, uh, 112.45. We're now trading 112.15. Once we get below that 111.60, this is going to be trouble in River City. Uh, for the euro. That means you're heading down to these levels of uh, 105. Uh, so pay uh, pay close attention to this one. This is a downtrend. You can see that 382 back in September. Let's pay some bills. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to uh, talk a little bit about Twitter. We've had the earnings come out. Someone asked me to take a look at it. As you can see, we have an ABCD pattern forming up there right near 37 bucks a share, and that's pretty much we're close to that now, 36.70 uh, or something. So that is a interesting. The gap will be uh, something to consider, but it's just an earnings gap, which uh, I guess it was a good surprise. But frankly, I'm not surprised this stock is not trading at 100 and something, considering you see it on the TV, you know, all the time. Uh, hold on a second. I think we might even have a caller coming in today. Hey, we have a caller from... Uh, oh my gosh, the state of Washington, it's Mr. Marshall Robinson. What's up, Bubba? Uh, not the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. We're very cloudy here on the Pueblo, but we are going to Guadalajara today. I have a guest coming in to visit, and uh, I'm going to stop at Guadalajara to think of you and Lynn. So what can I do for you, buddy? Well, I was kind of curious a little bit your opinion about crude oil. I got two of them today. Two crude oil? No, no, or, no, no. Uh, oh, two guests. Two, two guests. Okay. <laughs> two, two questions. Oh, two questions. Let's do them one at a time. Crude oil. I'm very bearish. Uh, the reason why is we hit that 66 level yesterday. Uh, it spiked to 66.05, and believe me, if crude oil was bullish, it would have gone to at least 66.30 just on buy stop. So that that basically told me that there was not much there. Uh, that's when I took a nibble at it, and it went down to 68, which down about 40 pips, and now we rallied back to uh, 95. I don't think I'm going to see a 66 print today, but uh, if I do, I'll be very nervous, but I don't have to risk very much being short crude oil here, so that that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, that was kind of my thinking, too. Thank you. I appreciate that. Lululemon, you, you, you suggested that it was a possible uh, ABCD, Time to correct 
spring. Uh, did I really? Hmm. Let me take a look at it, Marshall. Uh, that was some. Someone asked that question the other day. Was that what it was? Yeah. Uh, it was where, Lulu, where did, L, L U L U. Let's uh, let's get this. Oh, they're banging the euro again. This is good. Hold on one second here. Uh, Lulu Lemon. That starts with an L and ends in a U. Give me one second here. There's Lulu. I'm pretty sure okay. that's right. <laughs> yeah, that is correct. Yeah, uh, yeah. There is a little. There is a small three drive there. In fact, it made it just the other day. It hasn't really gone above. But let's put this up here, so the folks can see it. It's a really small one, but it is certainly a three drive, and it has that huge gap in there. So let's give me one second here. And uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, it shouldn't get above uh, 176. That's what. Let me get this up so everybody can see it, Marshall, and then we'll be uh, we'll be on the same page. There's the three drive pattern. It started back in the end of March, and um, we're right up. Uh, we hit actually we hit it on uh, Thursday, uh, Friday of last week, and uh, that was the high at uh, 174.64. We're a buck and a half under that, so. You don't have to risk very much. It's a hundred and seventy-three dollars stock, and if you want to sell it, you only got to risk three dollars. That's yeah. a, that's 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 less it. than okay. Well, that's less than two percent. You know, that's the. You know, one of the things you might want to consider on one like this because it's so high up with that big gap is to take a look at the the puts. Look at a, like a one a one sixty-eight or one sixty-five put might be a very uh, interesting one. It might be really cheap. And uh, one way of getting into it, but I don't do those, so I better shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell well, you, every time I do I, once in a while. That's, I know uh, that's, that's why I mentioned it, but it. Uh, they when they work, they work, uh, you know, really great. We've had some big ones that work, but boy, you have a lot of them that don't work. When you sell it, when you when you're in a, when you're in that option market, folks, learn to be an option seller, because you're selling yeah. a decaying asset, and that's the easiest way to make money for sure. Yes, it is. What's your, is that it's, your second question, was Lulu? Yeah, that was my second question. So you, you can go back and play with the other dinners now if you want to. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. Give your bride my regards, okay? I will, and okay. enjoy the, the chips and salsa. <laughs> yes, we will today for sure. Thanks a lot, Marshall. We'll talk to you a little bit later, buddy. We'll see you soon, too, I think, right? You'll be down again in a few months? Well, that's a, that's a guarantee. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later. Okay, buddy. Okay, let's take a look at the next one we want to look at, folks, is the um, uh, well, Euro's now breaking down below the 78% level. We're getting really close now in the British pound, folks. Watch that number, 129.10. We're trading at 129.50, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see if it can, uh, you know, hold that level or not, but we'll, we'll do one thing at a time. So that's uh, the main thing that I'm watching. The gold, we're still waiting for that 12 uh, 60 to 12.55. We're only four dollars away, so uh, it could be today, it could be tomorrow, but we're going to be, might even be overnight. So we'll watch that too. But that's that's a big pattern in the gold, boys and girls. And you know the other one that's real interesting. Uh, Ruby talked about it this morning in the den. She had a really nice uh, pattern in the silver that I checked, and it it just really lined up beautifully. I think I've got to. Uh, oh, we're there right now, Ruby. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's just take a look at this because uh, this is really a nice one. You, you'll see here, there's a, you have to look closely. You got to use your imagination, folks. You see the blue, let me, look, no, I'm not going to highlight it just a second here. Slow down, Larry. Put this chart up here for the silver. You, you see the 61% retracement line that comes in at uh, 174 uh, excuse me, <laughs> Four, 1472. The low so far has been 1470. That's also a three drive pattern to the downside on the last uh, eight or nine days trading. You can see that smaller gray triangles before the bigger ones at 1440. That's why this important support here at uh, that 1470. Uh, to 1470. Uh, you, know, you could buy silver here and not risk very much. It's 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 that easy. Uh, I you know I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm waiting till tomorrow, but uh, that is a nice one. Anything below uh, 1470 um, is going to take you to 1440. Uh, that's what I think we're going to eventually because of the fact that that gold is still you know hovering there at that 14. Um, excuse me, 1269 uh, level heading towards uh, 1260. 12.55 is uh, what it looks like to me, but you know that's just the two cents worth. But that's a good number uh, in the in the silver, so we'll see. Remember, last week I was surprised that silver was holding up, 
Well, it was a false breakout because it started down again, and that's what pulled it down. So, And there is a possibility. There is a possibility that this gold market is in a bear market. I don't believe that as of yet because of that head and shoulders pattern. But if that head and shoulders pattern doesn't start to hold bottom here, either today or tomorrow, uh, it's going to have some uh, serious problems. So these are the things that we're watching here. Trying to get in without, you know, risking very much. That's the, the real key, you know, to following some of these things without too much, uh, without too much trouble. That's the main thing. I did want to bring to your attention one other thing just from, uh, uh, yes, the, uh, the, the beast is out early this morning. The, the NASDAQ is making new highs as it should. It should make a new high about 15 minutes after the opening. We'll see if that does that or not. But uh, we'll watch these uh, other ones are, that are looking really good, too. And that is, we talked about the Australian dollar uh, on Friday, the fact that it was ready to move down. And we've had a pretty good move down in the, in the Australian dollar. We're now getting down to below that 7,100 level. That's going to be interesting to see how much of a thrust it has to the downside. But we're seeing it in everything. We're seeing it in the euro, the pound, and uh, all the other things. So let's uh, keep an eye on these. It's going to be interesting. We've got the break coming up. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, okay. 
Okay, boys and girls, uh, I'm going to switch gears here a little bit to make it interesting to show you what I'm doing this morning. I'll take a look at it. You'll be able to watch this. This is the uh, artificial intelligence program that I'm using. This is the uh, crude oil. You see we had a pullback down into this area around 65.60. We're now making an ABCD up here, and we should get ready to turn down just about now. So we'll see if that's going to work or not. The good part about this is you're going to know right away whether you're uh, whether you're right or wrong because if you see a if you see a uh, a print of 6605, you're certainly wrong. Got a question coming in here. Bottom cut off of the chart. All right, give me one second here, and I will get this chart up so we can all see it. It only takes me a second to do it, but I'm trying to make things a little bit different today because I get tired of talking about these patterns all the time because I know a lot of you folks, uh, you know, you get tired of it because I get tired of it. So and I love doing the charts, but the problem is, uh, you know, I've got to try to make it interesting every day, and uh, it's not easy to do. Okay, here's that chart I'm looking at. That blue line is a uh, artificial intelligence neural network that goes back over the last 30 days of two-minute charts and finds the patterns that should uh, be working today. Right now, you can see we just made an ABCD pattern up there at that 6592 level. Uh, you're trading a contract that's worth roughly $66,000. And you don't have to risk more than 250 bucks, so that's the kind that you like to see. And it might be good for two hours. It might be good for four hours. You don't know that because it's timing. That's the main thing that you're going to be looking at. So we'll keep an eye on that. If you want to see one that's really, really crazy today, hold on a second. I'll get this up to get your to see if it works or not. Hold on a second. Let me get it up here because I just had it ready to go. And I said, well, maybe I'll talk about it. Maybe I won't. I won't be spending any time with this stuff uh, in the future, folks, because it's too sophisticated. But I've got to, to cover some things. Oh, dear. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me one second here. I've got a, I had a problem with the little mouse again. Oh, dear. Give me one second here. Move this around here. All right. Hold on a second. Um, all right. I'm gonna, this is all experimental, boys and girls. Do not put money into this. Do not put money into this. This is important to remember. It's all experimental, and that's really what you want to look at. But since we were talking about silver, uh, this is what the prediction is for silver today. Now, this is pretty far out when you consider it's down into the sewer and nobody wants to buy it. But, uh, well, at least they are entertaining, Bill. I hope you like it anyway. This is what it's saying is that we should be up the rest of the day in silver. I don't know if that's going to be right or not. All I know is the risk is really small. Okay, one other question someone asked me this morning um, on email was, was about uh, – uh, one of the futures that we follow, uh, and that is the, uh, the, 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 the June hogs. I want to get this up here because I want to show you what's really happened here in the hogs because when these patterns fail, and this pattern didn't even complete, but as you can see here uh, in the June hogs, we were looking for the market to potentially make a three drive to a, uh, a top pattern up in here. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't. It started breaking on Monday, and here we are uh, into Tuesday, and the, the hogs are trading down at 93. So uh, the 61% retracement on the June hogs comes in at this 91.50 uh, area, 91 to 91.50. Now, if that if that holds and then it goes back up to 0.3, then you've got an absolutely perfect three drive pattern. Now, whether that's going to happen or not, you know, I don't know. But we're at major support now. It's still in an uptrend. You know, and if you're interested in buying hogs, uh, that 91.50 level. Should be should be pretty good. You won't have to risk more than a pound or you know a dollar, which is a little more than 400 bucks. So keep an eye on this this hog market because it's it's in the midst of making a pattern like that, and they don't always work. But when they do work, they work extremely well. So let's uh, let's watch these hogs. Now we had another question about another one of the um, hold up, one of the uh, other commodities that we wanted to talk out talk about, and that is the oil. And that has been continuing to go up, but just slightly, just like in the crude oil, it just made a little bit slightly higher high. So there's a possibility that uh, we could get ready for a quick correction. I know there's a lot of news coming out in the oil complex because of the Saudi Arabia stuff, but that's it. Al, I don't know what the problem is, but that's the best I can do, buddy.
I guess I just don't have the voice of uh, Wink Martindale or anybody like that anymore. So we'll see. Uh, what is the problem? Is it just being muffled? I, you know, I paid two hundred dollars uh, for the darn thing. Ah, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not very much into tech stuff, folks, and this is the frustration part of this doggone business. So let's move on here. Another one, and we got another caller coming in, possibly. Uh, sounds it's a ransom call. You're right. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, Jose. Keeps me up at night. Let's uh, let's look at one other one that looks pretty interesting. Uh, looks pretty interesting here uh, from a potential for making a bottom, and that is this natural gas. Uh, I don't know if it's going to hold or not. We had a nice little five-point rally, and then it backed off again. We're now trading just slightly above that 149 area, so we'll see whether it's going to uh, it's going to to work or not. It's uh, we'll see if that works. Thank you, David, for the feedback. I certainly do appreciate it. Um, uh, one other person asked me about the sugar. Sugar looks bullish, folks. Uh, we're this is this this market does not look bearish. It uh, you know look at this. We've got higher bottoms here since December. Uh, you know we had a beautiful Gartley up there at the 1350. We pulled right back to the 78 percent level, and uh, you know that was pretty much spot on. And uh, <laughs> there's Mr. Tucker calling in, and he forgets that I'm on the radio show. So we'll have to uh, remind him a little bit later. Anyway, this sugar looks like it wants to go to 1364 a pound, which would be a Gartley pattern up in that area. You know, that's the main thing that we're keeping an eye on. So just kind of watch that. Uh, we're, we're seeing the same thing in coffee. We've talked about that. You know, it's really, uh, really an interesting one because... Uh, you know, we're doing uh, uh, watching it real closely because the soft, the the soft commodities look like they're bottoming. Uh, you know, bottoming at the same time. You see, anyway, that's what we're keeping an eye on that because it looks really interesting to get a bit higher, but does look stronger, and we'll see. As we said before, these these commodity folks. Um, no, I haven't done bonds yet. I will do that. We've only got one minute to go, and I want to spend a little bit more time on the bonds. But uh, you remember we were we were talking about cocoa and coffee and sugar and all those other things. And the coffee has made a really good bottom down here, folks. We've got as high as uh, 93. We've rallied uh, well over 60 points a point, and we'll be able to take a look at that here of what we're watching. So uh, we'll just see how this uh, ends up here. The gold is at this uh, 1268. Uh, there's a possibility that could be it, and we could be ready to go higher. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm still going to hold out for that 1260 level, uh, 1259 level in the gold, but uh, that's it. When we get back from this next break, I do want to spend some time with the Treasury bonds and Treasury notes because I, I really believe these are going – these are going to go lower, folks, and I think we're going to be looking at at higher interest rates and not lower interest rates. That that's the way it looks, you know, from looking at the charts. But, you know, I I don't follow the fundamentals, so I just have to look at the charts. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when 
when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. All right, folks, we're going to take a look at this uh, CRB index that I wanted to mention to you. This is the long-term weekly chart from Bloomberg. You know, we've been in an eight-year bear market in uh, commodities. You know, we've been straight up in stocks and straight down in commodities, and it looks like we're making some type of a bottom in here. We're seeing that in coffee, cocoa, sugar, and a few others. Uh, grains also possibly doing the same thing. So we're going to be watching these uh, very, very closely. Now, the next one I want to bring to your attention is the crude oil market, because I told you to be very, very careful here and don't put any money in this thing because it can be very, very crazy. Here's what we were looking at. You see, I was looking at this at 90, 60, uh, 65, 91. I said you didn't have to risk more than $100 on a $66,000 contract. And the top was supposed to come in around that time. And you'll never guess what happened, boys and girls. If I can just find it, I just printed it out for us. So what did I do? I did it right here. Here it is. And you can see what happened. The crude oil just exploded to the upside. There you go. You'll see it right up there. And you'll see the time I was looking at, 65.90. See, once it went above the 78% level, you're only talking about $100 in there. That's why you didn't have to risk that much. Now, there is something else that I have to watch now, and that is the fact that I watch for 1.27 expansions uh, on these, and this is going to be the one that will really uh, – tell me where I'm going to be because I'll bring this up here. I'm actually getting ready to put this trade on, folks. It's uh, And we'll see here where we are. You'll get it. See, I'm looking for a top to come in here around 66.32, and that would be a spot. But the easiest place to do it is at 11.15 because you see the trend between 11.15 and uh, towards the end of the day, around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, that two-hour range there, that's the strongest trend of the whole day. So that's the best time to be shorting the crude. It could be from a lower level. It could be from a higher level, but that's what I'm watching. So that's what I do during the day. I pick two or three things and uh, nibble away at them, and I don't like to watch the machines very much. So, you know, by 9 o'clock, 9, 9.30, I'm pretty much done for the day, and then I can answer questions and stuff uh, that I'm watching. So that's the kind of thing that I'm looking at today. Uh, the market. We made new highs now. In the, in the NASDAQ again, we have uh, not quite done it in the Dow, but I think we're not very far away, so we'll be able to see uh, what has happened. Peter, the 127 in the uh, gold is held at 1268 thus far, and whether that'll continue to do that or not, we have to, uh, it remains to be seen, but it's getting very, very close. Now, um, the uh, interesting now that we're getting the uh, 
oh, this is really interesting here in the S&P because we're right at ooh, this is pretty pretty interesting here. And actually, the uh, the silver started to work a little bit. By golly, you'll never guess. Maybe this stuff works, Ruby. God bless you, Ruby. Thank you for that one. You get a few bagels with cream cheese on that one. All right, let's move on to the uh, to the currencies, folks, because uh, we've held these levels relatively well. We're now back above the 78% level uh, in the euro at uh, 112.16. That 112.10, we went down on a fast tick, 112.05. I know these are fast numbers, but that's what we're watching here, so we'll keep a uh, really close eye on it, and we'll see what happens with this as we as we go through uh, the day here. Now, bear with me one second. I have to check to see how the GDX opened because I want to see how close it came to where I was looking to be a buyer. So give me one second to pull this GDX out. Ooh, within 10 cents. I probably should have kept it, kept the order in, but eh, we'll see. We'll buy it tomorrow. Maybe I, I would prefer to pay higher up for it, actually, because that way I'll be pretty sure that that head and shoulders pattern might be finished, and then we'll take a, take a quick look at it. You know, it's been a long time, folks, since I got emotionally involved with the trade, and I did that in the darn gold. And the reason why I did it is it had so much technical stuff that was so perfect and it's still lining up. I mean, it's only a day off, but the price isn't quite right there yet. But uh, when I see a pattern like that, it's, uh, you know, that's one of the things I do here is uh, I really believe these patterns when I see them unfold like that. When I see multiple numbers coming in and multiple cycles coming in, it really, uh, it's interesting for me because it's like a, a giant backgammon or chess game or something like that that you're, pitting your technical stuff against the fundamental stuff that people are, uh, you know, trying to look at. So we'll see if that's going to mean very much down the road. So we'll take a look at it. Hold on here just a second here. And uh, uh, the uh, corn is also making a three drive to a bottom pattern. Let's take a quick look at that. That just came from... Uh, Mr. Syme only at Sylvia's Financial, so we'll pull up the uh, we'll pull up this thing with the corn, so you can take a look at it. Uh, we're really close here, folks. You can see uh, this is uh, this is Christmas corn. The July just made it, uh, so we'll see here what we are looking at here. Uh, I don't, did we get below uh, 83 yet in the Christmas corn? Could someone tell me? Uh, do that. You're, who is that? Uh, who is that? Bob. Uh, Bob from Washington, please tell me where the where the Christmas corn is trading. Did we get to 383? Because my uh, I would like to know that. I can't do it at this. It's 380. Ah, good, good, good. That's it. That was it. 382 was the number, and uh, I believe that was the number. I just posted it, didn't I? What did I do? Yeah, we're 380. So we are we're below it by a little bit. The number was at 382, so we're we're two cents below it. So it's either going to stop right here. Or it's in big trouble. That's the main thing. So we'll keep an eye on that. And we got a bottoming possi possibility in the uh, in the soybeans today too. If it actually uh, if it holds up that way, we'll have to wait and see if that's going to uh, work. Boy, we are jumping all over the map today, folks. So usually I have everything planned out, but it didn't work the way I wanted to today because of some technical issues that I've been working with with these computers, which always give me a great deal of. Uh, frustration. In fact, almost all of my frustrations in this business come because of the uh, the problems that I have with the uh, with the computers, but that's neither neither here nor there. Okay, let's move on to uh, the next one uh, that we want to talk about, and that is this pattern that we're seeing here in the SPX on the weekly. This is what I think is going to happen, but if we get much above uh, 12, 29, um, uh, 28, in the S&P cash, uh, S&P futures, the June futures, this would pro probably uh, be moving on. Now, Bill saying, would I want to rejoin the pits? I never did join the pits, Bill. I was there the first week or so, and I had so many out trades where these guys were stealing from me that I basically handed my orders in and paid $2 on each side to get my orders filled when I was there at the Merck. And I spent most of the time at the back of the pit or up in Barry Lynn's office uh, and uh, and spent my time there. You know, when things got really active, I'd go down and I'd go down for for lunch and things like that to meet friends and things. But being in those pits was no fun. It's dirty, dangerous, and uh, uh, and, and dangerous to your health and your wealth because 
these outrages that they had were you know, it couldn't be fear, f fierce. I get my first one was for sixty nine hundred dollars, my first week down there, and uh, after that I said I don't need this anymore. So I just had to put my orders into a two dollar broker, and most people were paying like thirty five or forty dollars, and I only paid two dollars in and out. So it was uh, it was real easy for me to do that. And I never had to worry about an outrage. The, filling broker had to worry about it. So an out trade, Terry, is when you, if you're in the pit and you have two people in there, you have a buyer and seller and they're waving their hands, you know, they're putting their fingers up in the air, they're yelling and screaming and it's, uh, it's organized chaos. And at the end of the day, you think you're short an S&P and you look and you don't see it anywhere. In other words, the, the guy that, that sold it to you is not recognizing the trade. So that makes it an out trade. So they go back and reconstruct what happened. And uh, if you cheat, they throw you out of there real quick. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're, we're back, folks, and we're going to be watching the gold and silver here for a potential bottom either today or possibly tomorrow. Uh, it'd probably be easier to buy it on strength than to buy it on weakness, but we'll just have to wait and see if that's going to be the case. We're still at these critical levels of the currencies. We've talked about this 111.60 level in the euro. That's the one that makes the difference. 129.10 to 129.15 in the British pound. One other thing, folks. 
regarding the British pound. We have a very, very dear friend, a student. His wife has been suffering from cancer, and the doctor told her yesterday that it's a matter of days or hours. So please send some white light to Angie and David over there in the U.K., wonderful folks. We've been to their home and enjoy their company. They've been to Tucson several times and uh, just really enjoyed being with them and uh, feel very badly for uh, and, and their daughter, Angie. So please, uh, or their daughter, Addie. But anyway, uh, say some prayers for her that she passes uh, quickly. She's in a great deal of pain. Let's, uh, uh, on, a, on, a, on a, a programming note, we're going to have a special guest here on Friday. I don't want to announce it yet because uh, I haven't, uh, it'll be very special if I can do it. So we'll see if we can get him on, but uh, it's very close and you'll be surprised if we do get him on. It'll be exciting to have someone. It's pretty much a household name and uh, an old friend, but he doesn't like to get out into the, the public too much. So it's a question of whether I can uh, cojurl him into, into doing this. So watch the level of 29 28 in the S&P folks if we get above that uh, we could we've already cleared that of course in the Nasdaq we haven't done it in the S&P as of yet but it's still you know still a little a bit early so we'll watch it uh, a little closer as we can so we'll watch this as best we can and remember to live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless <music>